children hope you all are well and happy care of yourself welcome to session 5 social studies paper 2 chapter 21 the movement for the formation of telangana state today we are going to learn about k chandra k chandra shekhar rao's past the year 2009 in the process of achieving telangana withdrawal of the announcement and the telangana is achieved let's start K. Chandrasekhar Rao's fast, 2009. To give a decisive expression to this momentum, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, the leader of Telangana Rashtra Samiti, announced an indefinite fast to begin on 29th November 2009 at Siddhi Ped. He was arrested and lodged in a jail even before he started his fast. As K. Chandrasekhar Rao, he was emerged as a leader who was adamant to get the separate Telangana state. for achieving this he has started his fast indefinite fast on 29th november 2009 at siddhi peet when he had declared about his fasting he was get arrested he was put into jail he continued his fasting even in jail as well as he has to he has continued this in hospital too when Uh, the students of usmania university came to know about his fasting program they have formed a telangana students joint action committee on 16th november to express that these students are supporting k chandrasekhar rao to achieve the telangana state here you can see k chandrasekhar rao he was admitted in a hospital during his fasting the telangana rashtra samiti leader k chandrasekhar rao's fast became a massive people's movement He was fasting for about ten days between twenty ninth November and ninth December two thousand nine. This galvanized the people, and the movement received a new thirst and meaning. As with his fasting procedure, though he was get arrested, he was get hospitalized. He continued his fasting for ten days. This gave a new meaning to the Telangana movement. Even all the joint action committees they came over to show his support in achieving Telangana. K. Chandrasekhar Rao was get arrested by the people. In the process of achieving Telangana, the most important event in this context was the announcement by the student jack of Assembly Muttadi attack on Assembly on tenth December two thousand nine. If the announcement of separate state was not made, the students poured into Hyderabad city from different universities and colleges, hiding in friends and relatives' houses. around assembly in order to participate in the assembly muttadi so when uh, they have when the students they have decided according to their joint action committee they have decided that if the separate telangana state was got not get announced they should gather and uh, assemble in uh, assembly assemble in uh, the uh, or attack on a uh, assembly it doesn't mean they are going to get uh, uh, any sort of violence and all that but they are going to gather in a huge number on 10th december 2009 if the central government is not taking any decision regarding the achievement uh, regarding the separate of separation of telangana so the all the students from all over the telangana they are from the universities and colleges they started coming or joining in uh, hyderabad they are hiding because of their it was an immense uh, uh, program so most of the uh, students they came to hyderabad they are and hiding in the relatives house to make this uh, event as a success as they are going to participate in assembly muttadi the above conditions spreading the movement among the communities at grassroots k chandra shekhar rao's fast and the proposed assembly muttadi eventually persuaded the central government to announce the formation of telangana so because the huge number of participation of students and all that this make the central government to take some actions because this is uh, something where the people want ultimately the decision of a central government on the formation of telangana state so it give a new meaning and it was considered as one of the important event in a telangana achievement yeah telangana joint action committee students committee and they have decided to attack on the assembly withdrawal of the announcement the announcement was withdrawn on 23rd december 2009 due to the pressure from andhra political leaders and a commission headed by justice sri krishna rao 
was formed to inquire into the developments in Andhra Pradesh and report to the center. The Telangana people were shocked. So as the national, as the central government have decided to initiate something about the separation of uh, Telangana or at least to fulfill the demand of the Telangana people, a committee was uh, announced, a committee was uh, formed which is uh, headed by Justice Sri Krishna where he has to uh, report, the in, uh, has to just inquire about all the developments which has been taken place in Hyderabad and they have to submit it to the central government and because of this announcement announcement of a formation of a commission uh, it was uh, really shocking for the telangana people many osima andhra people felt that it would be unfortunate if a state united by telugu language was demerged to form two states this protests were intended to put pressure on central government to go back on its announcements of a new state for Telangana and as the people were get shocked they were just finding out that if once again in a report if they have shown any sort of a report where they can just maybe deny for the demand for the separate Telangana so they have just very much because by that time Hyderabad had become a hub of development. A lot of development has been taken place, especially uh, IT formation and all that. So maybe uh, there is a uh, possibility that uh, and the obviously uh, Hyderabad become a global significance in uh, economic development and all that. So the people's uh, were thinking that maybe the central government once again uh, step back from the decision of giving a recognition of separate Telangana state. Yeah, Justice Sri Krishna who was appointed, who has to present the report on the development of Andhra Pradesh. In order to unify the people, all parties and organizations came together to form Telangana Joint Action Committee under its leadership six major agitations were launched non-cooperation movement million march sakala janula same a 42 days general strike sagara haram human chain around hussein sagar lake in hyderabad sansat yatra march to the parliament and cello assembly so as all the organizations get united because they want that the government should not step back from the uh, decision of uh, giving a separate telangana state so they have unified and they have come together uh, under the six major agitations it was first one was the non cooperation movement and there was a million march Sakula Janula Sama means they were decided to go for the 42 days general strike and they are going to form the uh, human chain around Hussein Saga Lake in Hyderabad and Sansad Yatra march towards the uh, parliament uh, and to uh, the Chalo Assembly to give a recognition or to get a, as a final phase of achieving Telangana. Here yeah, you can see agitators participating in Million March. Sakala Janula Same, where they have decided to go for 42 days of general strike. Telangana is achieved. There was a lot of pressure to take a decision on at national level. Telangana thus became a national issue. The Congress Core Committee heard the presentation from Andhra side and Telangana side and finally took a decision in favor of bifurcation. Accordingly, the bill was passed on 18th February in Lok Sabha. On 20th Feb in Rajya Sabha, the president side on 1st March of 2014 and parliament bifurcation the state of Andhra Pradesh with June 2, 2014 as the appointed day. So at last with a lot of struggle and all that, it has been decided because the bill has been passed when the report has been presented. It was coming uh, to the conclusion that yes, there is a need to have a separate Telangana state for the development of both the states, Andhra Pradesh as well as Telangana. So the assembly has passed a bill. Uh, on to 18th Feb in Lok Sabha and on 20th February in Rajya Sabha and ultimately it was get signed by uh, the president on 1st March 2014 and they have decided that this parliament parliament has decided that these states Andhra and Telangana get bifurcated get separated into two states on June 2nd 2014. In the democratic process decisions may be taken late but but 
persistence of people's fight in protest forms convinced the country that they merged telangana from andhra pradesh and the people started telangana vijaya utsavalu at different places the students and other activities felt happy that they dream had been fulfilled so yes in a democratic form it was really a struggle will be quite long but ultimately you'll get a decision uh, because of the involvement of a people because democracy is a form of a government where the people has to work for their own development and ultimately it will benefit it for the development of all the people so as telangana state was achieved on 2nd june 2000 14 and the students and all the other activities they felt very happy that their dream had been fulfilled at last initially telangana merged uh, with, along with 10 districts then later on this was uh, the latest map where at present we are having 33 districts in telangana state let us have a quick recap children today we have learned about k chandrashekhar rao's fast the year 2009 in the process of achieving telangana withdrawal of the announcement and telangana is achieved it's time for home assignment children you have to write a short note on professor jaya shankar the telangana ideologist he was considered as a person who has initiated for the telangana state thank you